Hi my friends, today we model the part number 10 from my collection of uh, 100 parts. You know the procedure, I uh, work and you look to me, look at me. Always I make this mistake. To look at, not to look to. Uh, I uh, must uh, orient this axis to the right. And now we look to the drawing. As you can see, this is a, an oval with uh, 68 distance are radius 31, radius uh, 16. Let's create this shape. We start with a line, then we keep pressed the left button of the mouse, then another tangent, Keeping pressed the button, another one as possible tangent, and on the same vertical, go the one from up, another. arc, a tangent, if not tangent, we we'll apply tangent, no problem. And now close. You see here is not tangent and where? Nowhere. Oh, very good. This tangent with this. Now we apply some uh, constraints coincident this two and coincident with the center point horizontal this point with this point and this one with this one these two are concentric yes and these two are equal and this with this must be equal, but they are because of the fortune. Uh, and the last is that this two must be also equal. And now we have the three dimension needed, which are that I mentioned, 68, and two radius, 31 and 16, 38 from one end to another, and everything is scaling. Yes, very nice. 16 and 31. Thirty-one. Okay, fully constrained. Finish sketch. Extrude. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen is this. Yes. And now we create a cylinder uh, on this face at forty-eight from the bottom. Be very careful, the button, not from here. We select this plane, we create a sketch, a drawing with the diameter of 40. Okay, 40 
and now extrusion up 42 minus 15 don't forget okay this is 42 but the extrusion is from here to here next is radius 4 to uh, let it be in history click here fillet 4 millimeters okay now a sketch in the plane XY F7 to see inside we have to project this line and now arc the center is here start this point must be on the same vertical with this we project as center line axis y and then revolve okay another sketch inside the part with this dimensions we want to create this hollow inside 42 is the same and the radius uh, diameter is 20 radius is uh, of course 10 we, we don't need to place one or another we prefer this project this to have a center line from the bottom up to this level and now an arc yes with this point this point coincident with this and the end on the same vertical once again project center line y axis not center line in the future and a line here to have a close contour the dimension is 20 good everything is inside revolve you see it was started but we cut we don't add material okay you see this is okay another sketch in the same plane is for this uh, cut yes the same center at 42 altitude with a radius 6 f7 uh, project geometry this geometry circle radius radius not diameter now is a diameter and I click here to uh, to move to radius and the radius is 6 two lines from the quadrant up restart from the quadrant up once again an arc 
with center from here to here trim look look at me trim and I click here and move the cursor yes this is another way to apply trim you have to uh, uh, take them in your habitude all these things this one also I it, it, it trim is activated I click here and I uh, uh, intersect the line I want to disappear okay there is a close contour yes then I can apply extrude of this I have to select both this is the contour in both directions cut all the way okay now we see inside the object what object tilt support because we place here a hole uh, we choose to make it uh, by using extrude instead of hole and the plane in this plane F7 project geometry this is also a circle because it's a section in uh, a sphere and now the hole is 10 millimeters diameter circle with diameter now of 10 finish sketch extrude both direction cut all the way okay yes all the way the last thing is to place these two holes to do this I uh, use I mentioned before in another tutorial that in the sketch I have this an option checked yes auto project edges for sketch creation and edit this is checked close being checked I can uh, create a sketch here and immediately I finish the sketch <laughs> hole I choose this these are not point uh, created in a sketch but centers uh, projected so we have to to select them the diameter is of course 12 yes I uh, made the part before to be uh, prepared for you okay uh, you see you can change the diameter by uh, using this yes this circle is uh, elastic yes and uh, you do this when you are not sure how large to build uh, something not only the uh, hole but all many other features this is the part the finished part let's assign a material still cast 
but uh, not semi polished but still cast yes we see a granulation here and now I select faces to make them uh, polished for this uh, support to be used. I keep the key shift pressed when I select. You know this. And I apply steel polished to all these faces. This is the finished part. You can eliminate these uh, uh, edges by using view visual style and shaded and then the data of this part are in the eye properties you can check if you you can verify when you model this part if they are the same okay that's all for today bye bye